I don't have all the time. There are seven kinds of relationships you need in your life. And one of them is a confronter. Someone that can confront you. Someone that can look at you eyeball to eyeball and tell you you were wrong. That temper tantrum that you threw was not necessary. Someone that can correct you. You need a confronter. And that's why a lot, that's what a lot of people miss in life. That's what they lack in life. And they have become Pentecostal rascals. Type anything on the internet. Say anything to anybody. Behave anyhow. I showed you an example yesterday. <laughs> anything goes. You want to last? You want your legacy to last? Who can we report you to? If you didn't hear anything in this message, take that home. And pick your pen and write. Who can I be reported to? Who do I fear? The prophet of the earth belongs to all. Even the king is served by it. God had to be cancelled by Abraham. Excuse me, sir. If you find 20, okay, I won't kill. If you find God, don't kill all of them. Or people will say that people that don't listen to nobody. As a man, you are married. Every time your wife asks you, Where are you going? Say, Excuse me. When did you become a monitoring spirit? <laughs> let me go, let me go, my way. Uncle, the day you will get lost. Nobody will look for you. Because they will say, ah, that's how he goes. They will not know you are ready. Anybody can talk to me in this house. Really? We shall see. Let me mention one or two more. The second person, the second help I noticed in David's life was Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan. Book of 1 Samuel chapter 18. I'm sure I'll mention one more. Jonathan, there are still good friends. In 1 Samuel chapter 18, the Bible says that Jonathan removed his belt, removed his sword, removed his arrow, his bow, removed his garment, and gave to David. I call that unusual helpers. They do not care whether it is convenient or not. They just want you to succeed. I told you yesterday the kind of prayer I prayed about my husband. That God, if he fails, hold me responsible. If you pick my phone, you will see the times that I pray for my husband. Prayer covering him. Delilah proofing him. Jezebel proofing him. <laughs> Praying for him. Whether it's convenient or not. If you see me in church laboring to make this man's life great. If you see me at home, I was telling you yesterday. There are still people, Jonathan's of life. This message that I'm preaching to you is not just here at Bethel. I want you to put them on your phones, put them on your iPad, put them in your notes, and almost every day pray, Father, send me unusual helps. People that will speak on your behalf in the palace. A particular embassy, correct embassy, correct, selected me way back home in Nigeria. And put me in a committee. First time I went to attend the, the meeting, I saw where we used to queue for visa. I just waved. <laughs> I said, So there is another world here. After we were done with the ambassador and all that, you know, some of us leaders, I noticed that there was another meeting, another team drawn from. The larger group, and I was the only woman. So I asked the whatever, hear what the lady said to me. We sent out 
questionnaires to Nigerians. And your name kept popping up. Your name kept popping up. Who is recommending you? This one is not just by mouth. You need to pray. It's parents, pray it for your children. Pray it for them. Strategic helpers, unusual helpers. It's not enough to graduate and have a master's degree and have PhD and have this and that. There is more to life. Spiritual things are real. My husband says there are people that are not happy that you are happy. They will do anything to bring you down. You greet them, they can't answer very well because the dress you wore last Saturday is not the same one you're wearing. And I'm so sorry we have them in church. We have them in church. Envious people. Envy jealous. <laughs> they are there. And you're wondering, what do I have? You're wondering, why is this person giving me a cold attitude? Some of them want you to sleep and not wake up. Evil people. They are in church. Sometimes you look at some things and you, you say to yourself, Muslims won't do this. See, believers. There are unusual helpers. May God give them to you. 